Hello, how are you? This design almost brought me to tears. I love fractions and very well aware uh, um, that there's something that a million people would just not want to touch with a 10 foot pole. Um, this is a really good one here. I'll show you at first. So we've got the reference one to start with, which is more just understanding what fractions actually mean. So we've got a whole, it's all the watermelon designs, which I'll keep it that way to start with just so we have that consistency. So this shows one whole, it's one part out of one um, there, which that'll make sense in a sec. And it can also be represented as the number one. So I've got the words here because this one out of three means one part out of three equal parts. So we actually want to understand why a fraction is represented this way. Does that make sense? So you've got one part showing out of three equal parts. So the part that shows goes at the top and the equal parts, so all of them together, however many equal parts there are, is the number at the bottom. So you've got your numerator and denominator, not gonna worry about those terms right now. So from the beginning, we've got one whole, so one out of one is shaded, let's use that word for now, one out of two, so we've got half here, one part shaded out of two parts, um, represented as one half, one over two, and one part out of two equal parts. We've got one third here, goes into one quarter, so again, one on top, and so numerator and four equal parts, which shows here, one fifth. And you can see as you flip through, it obviously gets smaller. Yeah, so it's a really good visual, although it's big and chunky, um, I wanted to get that visual point across rather than just giving you a reference guide or smaller flashcards. One sixth, one seventh, you can see it getting smaller and smaller, one eighth, one ninth, one tenth. Now, this one is a completely separate one, which I'll show you in a sec. So this one here is only ever showing you one tenth, yes? Or one part out of however many shaded. So we want to get that concept first of what a fraction actually means. Then we're gonna move on to this pack and I will continue to build, sorry, you're gonna to have to hear me over the rain, compete with the rain. Um, so this one, oh, that was my divider there, but it's see-through, so that didn't really help. This one is like the lookbooks. So we've got one part here, which is the one. And now for a whole for this example, we can only have one as the numerator. So I'm showing one whole, yes? So I'm gonna write in one whole and also represented as one, which we learnt back here. Um, I'm going to rub that off before I make a mess of my book because I keep doing that and then I have to wash it. There we go. So here, this pack allows you to have more than one part. Yeah? So each of these are Velcro dotted on. So I can either show one half. Getting, I know it sounds simple or it may sound simple, um, but showing that this is one half. Whoops but this is also one half. Doesn't matter which part is shaded either, yes? So I've got one over two or two over two here, if I've got both parts, which does equal a whole as well, but equivalent fractions will be something I deal with later, yes? Which you'll see a few times throughout here, um, or I will add on a worksheet, so build onto this pack. Then we've got thirds. Um, I'd really love your feedback on this, but that's not going to work with this not being a live video, which I didn't think of till just now. So we've got our thirds there. Um, again, you can have one third, two thirds, or three thirds. Three thirds being a whole, two thirds being two thirds. Um, that's also the same as four sixes. So let me show you that. Have I got my sixes cut out? No, I got halfway and then I had enough of this. So <laughs> I'll finish that later. So ignore what I just said then. Then you've got your quarters. So you can have one, two quarters, which also equals a half, three quarters, and four quarters, which also equals a whole. So they're your equivalent fractions, yeah? Which I'm happy to talk through now, but I'm not adding that concept into this pack. Um, that would be what I, you know, the discussions I'd like you to have with your little ones, comparing the different pages. Um, you can either put it in a display folder 
or if you want to do that comparing, laminate each one. So I haven't bothered laminating these. I've just stuck them in as paper um, and put the Velcro on the display folder. It's just a standard Officeworks display folder. Um, and there we got to six, we've got sevenths, eighths, nines, and tenths. Obviously you're doing a fair bit of cutting when you get to these, um, but it is much easier and much quicker cutting these than the lookbook ones, just because there's a ton of straight lines and slightly curvy one. So these are the watermelon pieces I've got to go. It looks like a lot, but that won't take too much longer. And that will be my job tonight when I, or after I go get more Velcro dots because I've got a stack of, yeah, the scratchy ones, but not the hooks. All right, I'm going to stop talking. I'd love you to ask questions, um, ask for clarification, ask for anything that, um, you know, I've said seems obvious that isn't, um, that you would like me to put into this pack or build on this pack. My boy is in your seven and he's just done i know they do it earlier but they've just revised the adding subtracting multiplying and dividing fractions i would like to go on to that as well obviously like most of my target audience you're watching as well you're going to have younger children but these concepts um are really good to build on through play when they are younger i mean i wouldn't give this to a four-year-old uh you're probably looking at the more yeah three four five kids but to give it to them, build that understanding of fractions before they're getting to those, you know, preteen years and they're, they're learning it without actually understanding what a fraction is. Yeah? Okay. Um, like, you can also do this with getting your kid to cut an apple in half or in quarters. I ask my 10 and 12 year old that and they just look at me funny. Like, really? You should know how to do this, like, basic halves. The, hang on. I know I'm prattling a little bit. These ones, so your whole half, thirds, and quarters, you're looking at the four-year-old age group. Yes? So even if you do want to get this pack and then scrap from the fifths onwards, not scrap it, but, you know, save it for later and work on these ones. Um, and I can tell you now, I didn't do any of this with my little ones. And if I had of, I may not be struggling so much with them in understanding fractions. Now, hopefully as a parent as well, if that's something that you've never got your head around, this will help in, you know, using it for play and teaching those concepts, practicing, noticing patterns with your little ones. All right, I'm going to go. I will talk to you soon um, and I'll show you more as we go. All right, see you.